All right, you're still watching this morning on ITV. It's time now to go to Delta State, where we will be joining the Commissioner for Information, uh, who is also the spokesman for Atiku Campaign Organization, uh, Charles Ehedu. Very good morning to you, dear Commissioner. Good morning, and how are you doing this morning? We are fine. How is Delta State today? We thank God. We give God all the glory. It's a very bright morning here. In okay, quickly, we want to start by asking you that uh, uh, the expectation of many party members, and of course Nigerians, that the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Ayu, uh, should step down from his position following the emergence of Atiku Abakar as the a candidate for the presidential elections come 2023, what we saw was a vote of confidence uh, uh, pass on you led NWC. Tell us about it. Let me correct the impre impression that is the expectation of uh, many Nigerians. It wasn't the expectation. It was a desire of some persons, uh, very notable persons in the party, that they have some foreign of the NWC. The Nigerians, both those within and outside the PDP, are looking forward to how the leadership of the party will be able to address the main issues that have been triggered uh, since the presidential primaries of the party. And so what they are hoping is that let the party resolve whatever they are dealing with and come on board to, of course, form a government that will rescue the country from the present uh, very big state uh, on account of the mismanagement of uh, the uh, country by the APC. And so... The party leadership, of course, being a very listening leadership, have examined a number of issues within the uh, limits of the laws of the party. That's the constitution of the party as amended in 2017. And so having taken a look at those issues, the party leadership was able to take uh, decisions that they believe uh, will not uh, throw the party into some form of other trolls and that, that will not unsettle a whole lot of uh, interest within the party. And that's why the neck of the party unanimously examined the issue and then decisions that will not offend the spirit and the intent of the PDP constitution, which is why what happened after the NEC meeting. But beyond that, of course, you also recall that in the 21-point community, the NEC was also able to examine other issues beyond the party, i.e. The, the, the troubling situation where our children have been at home for more than seven, about seven months now. And then, of course, the Kumato state of our economy vis-a-vis -vis the many challenges uh, confronting the country, particularly that of insecurity and uh, the uh, issues of corruption. All those were still part of the issues examining that and uh, publicized in that 21-point community at the end of that uh, NEC meeting. So by the grace of God, the, some form of in-house cleaning, uh, we are home and dry, uh, believing that in the course of time, a number of these naughty issues would have been fully addressed, and then Nigerians will see that the party has the capability to deal with the issues that have uh, remained in the front of the discourse in a couple of weeks uh, before now. Uh, Nick, uh, I was actually there, and uh, speaker after speakers, they talk about the fact that uh, agreed members should use internal mechanism to resolve the crisis. Uh, you are the spokesman for Al-Haji Atiku Abubakar. To what extent do you think uh, the internal mechanism can actually solve the issues at ground? Well, the issues of the internal mechanism that the party have always uh, deployed to deal with the uh, issues of disagreement, uh, the leadership of the party at the moment, uh, the, both the, uh, the National Working Committee of the party, and of course the man who is now the national leader of the party, that is uh, Atiku Abubakar, by virtue of his uh, position as a presidential candidate of the party. Of course, you do know that uh, the PDP other parties where you have one man in there as more or less the owner of the party. And what we have is that once you emerge as a presidential candidate, you become the leader because at the moment the party is not in power. If our former president, Olusegun um, Obasanjo or Jonathan were still very active in the party, they would have to remain the, uh, the leaders of the party at that level. But at this moment, the highest ranked person in the party is the presidential and also having been a former vice president on the platform of the party. And so he has got the ability to unite a number of interests. He's a man who has the capacity to listen to individuals and without bias to any form of religion or your ethnic background or ge geographical location. He is capable of dealing with a number of these issues. 
And the PDP, you do know, is a very, very big, big family under the umbrella. And so even when you have a small family, don't forget our Lord Jesus Christ, for those of us who are Christian, in spite of his um, uh, very many uh, qualities of uh, being able to handle almost all issues, had 12 disciples, only 12, and out of which you have a Judas. And so begin to even mine or multiply in every 12, begin to add uh, one Judas. And so you will discover that when you have millions in a, a particular political party, you are going to have thousands of um, uh, Judas in that particular political party. And so that being the case, it, I'm using that to underline the fact that in every human uh, situation where you have a relationship, even between husband and wife, once in a while you have disagreements because our psychological and sociological makeup is not the same. So once there is conflict because of either your upbringing, because of your geographical location, because of certain nuances in the area where you live, that is likely going to uh, collide with other interests in other places. So what you do is to manage it. So if there's anybody who is thinking that there won't be a crisis or that there won't be disagreement, in a political party that is even as big as PDP, then that person uh, tends not to understand that the human nature. The tongue and the teeth have always been uh, um, resident in the mouth, yet they quarrel in spite of the fact that they are supposed to have a very cordial relationship. Once in a while, you see the tongue having to bite the mouth, the, 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 the teeth having to bite the tongue. So that relationship, if they can afford to even quarrel, why they live in the mouth, not to talk of human beings that live far apart. So the party has got what it takes to be able to deal with these issues. We are quite hopeful that before the campaign commences, a number of these um, naughty issues would have been cleaned, cleaned up, and then the party have uh, more time to concentrate on the very lofty ideals. The presidential candidate and his running mate, of course, they are very much poised to address the main issues confronting the country. As a party, we are very much aware of the expectations of Nigerians. Nigerians are looking forward to the PDP to take them out of the woods where the APC have placed us in um, for a long time now. And I'm sure that that is going to happen because uh, they are not interested in any cycle show from any corner. They are not interested in the stories of what we are even doing in respect to our party. They just want the party to get organized and then provide a very credible alternative to what the APC is doing at the moment. Because they are very convinced that voting the APC will mean the continuation of the suffering that they are in now. And so the best thing to do is to look in the direction of the PDP, particularly not only on account of what the party did in the first 16 years, where they took us out of a military rule and were able to bring in a whole lot of democratic dividends, but also the fact that the party tend to have also learned from the issues raised by the youths in the course of this uh, period. And those issues are some of the things that Atiku Abubakar have also made very, very clear that is going to address, whether it's in the area of education or it's in the area of uh, bringing back the jobs. Those are the things Nigerians are expecting. And as a party, we will not lose sight of that. We will not disappoint Nigerians in that direction. We will know that Nigerians will not forgive us if we are not able to rescue them from this very, very disturbing uh, situation that the APC has placed all of us. For you. Okay, so we are still on the issues in the PDP at this time. With the success of the reconciliatory committee so far, why are there still some issues, wranglings from the southern leaders, some southern leaders, Governor Yeso Wike as one of them and his camp, you know, still talking about marginalization of the southerners in the PDP. You know, sometimes when you go to uh, a battle, you may first of all win the battle, but you need to also take some other steps to win the war. What that means is that the battleground is where people exchange punches, where possibly they deploy some leather weapons. And so when that stops, you now come back to look at the issues that triggered that battle ab initio. And then not until you're able to deal with it, you may have some form of either cold war or some form of uh, verbal attacks. You now need to progress to begin to deal with those things. It's not like when you wash your clothes. You may have washed it clean, but you also need some time to dry it and then um, get it dried. But even when it is dried, you need to still bring it back and iron it so that at the end of the day, it is something good enough for you to wear. So you don't just say because your clothes, your clothes is dirty, you just take it and then put it into the washing machine. You just immediately, you finish washing, you say, okay, now I've removed the stain, let me wear it. That's not how it is. You must, after you have removed the stains, dry it up. Even after drying it up, because you see that it will be rumpled, you need to straighten it. That's why you also have the iron, to be able to iron it. 
so what we are now is that we have been able to wash some of those dirty linens, and then we are thinking of now how to properly dry it up before we can proceed. So we never told anybody that because the neck had a meeting and took those decisions, that automatically everything will just stop at once. It means that there is some form of also in-house cleaning, and that is what is going on. I can assure you that um, yes, on Wiki, our leader in the party is a man who believes that the party must come together for the purpose of winning the election. He's very much aware that the APC has uh, mismanaged our common words. He's, uh, he's one person who has been very, very vocal about uh, what the APC have done very, very wrongly in the last seven years. And having pointed out some of those things to members of the public, he's desirous of a machinery, and in this case, the PDP, that will be able to take us out of the woods. The only thing he's agitating is that we must be able to move as one body. And the leadership of the party is also very much seized of those issues. The leadership of the party is also determined for us to move as one body. And they know that Wike is a man who is going to be capable of not only de delivering rivers, but that we can also tap into his um, abilities to uh, move into other states where we may not have, where we may not be holding through at the moment. Don't forget there are a number of states where we have the ruling APC, where they have also performed very abysmally. And in those areas, you may need to step in with some form of force, a very genuine democratic force, so that with the Discussing with uh, continue the discussion with uh, our brother and leader, yes, on Wiki and other persons. In the At the end of the day, it will just be like a man who directs the urine to a spot and then he produces the dividend in form of the foam. And so that's where we are headed. And we are quite convinced that, uh, bearing in mind that uh, Wiki has made it very clear that he has even demolished APC in rivers, we want to also help him, help us as a party to join in demolishing the uh, APC in other states. That's where we are at the moment. So be rest assured that. Yes, on Wiki is not only going to be on board, he's fully on board and he will come on board to help the party to deliver uh, in 2023 so that the party can form government and the rescue Nigerians from where we are at the moment. I, I just want to ask this, which is uh, a, a comment by the chairman of the party. And that comment is not pleasant to the camp of Wiki and, and, and his allies, which is that there are children in PDP and Wiki and his allies uh, ha somehow uh, happen to be the children in the APC. How are you finding that? In the PDP, well, I mean to was, say. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's something, an event that uh, it has um, an issue that has been overtaken by events. And leaders of the party uh, felt that uh, he was not properly understood. He too have also notice that uh, since the comment or didn't go down well with a section of the party that that is not the way to go so the chairman is very mindful of the fact that he has a responsibility to put everybody together and that he is uh, poised to doing at the moment uh, just over at the weekend he met with the new uh, acting chairman of the bot adolfo swarbara former president of the nigerian senate with a view to impressing it upon him as the leader of the conscience of the party at the moment to also reach out to some other persons who may not have been pleased what we are doing now as a party, both from the presidential candidate and the, from the National Working Committee, is to ensure that we move together. And let me tell you that those who are thinking that we're only just trying to come together for the purpose of winning election are getting it wrong. Article is desirous of not only bringing everybody together for us to win election. He is desirous of, even after winning the election, to keep Nigerians together, whether you are in the party or outside the party. Because his number one agenda, out of the five-point agenda, is the issue of management of our diversity. The challenge you also have in the PDP today is as a result of uh, the diversity, the inclination, both ethnic and otherwise. A situation where you, you saw that before the uh, primaries of the party, there were issues as to where the presidential candidate would come from. It's a reflection of this lack of trust among the different geopolitical zones. When we get to that level where the man from Kara Namuda is going to be capable of taking uh, care of the man from um, Obijo in Delta State. You will discover that that man in Obijo in Delta, we care less about where his president comes from because he knows that his president will give to him what is his due, irrespective of whether he knows him or not. Once we get to that level, you will discover that this agitation for zoning, this agitation for rotation, will die down. The reason there is so much uh, belief on this issue of, uh, in this issue of where the president comes from or where a governor in the state comes from is because over the years we have noticed that there seems not to be some form of equity 
in the distribution of resources. And we are quite convinced, given the pedigree of Atiku Abubakar and his very, very nationalistic approach to issues, that he will be able to give everybody his or her fair due. And when that happens, you will be thinking less about where the president comes from. Let me also tell you, for those of you who always have, who always have the privilege of flying, when you bought a, an aeroplane, I have never seen anybody who first of all bought the plane and then asked, please, can I see the pilot? I want to know where he's from. You know the reason why you don't do that? Become the confidence that the pilot will take you to your destination. And then when you get there, you, uh, you disembark uh, from the, the, the flight and then you proceed to where you are headed. The president is like that pilot that is expected to take us to our destination. The destination where our country will function and function effectively. Once we get to that level where we have a president that can take us to our destination, we will not begin to care less about whether the president is an Igbo man and because I'm an Igbo man, or whether the president is a Yoruba man or because I'm a Yoruba man, or whether the president is an Aosa or a Fulani man because I'm an Aosa or a Fulani man. We will not begin to look at that president as our president. And our nationalistic values will not be rekindled. And I look forward to that country where we will, be come to, where we will not have to come to that point where I care less about where my president comes from. What is most important is that I'm able to realize my God-given potentials because I have a president that is able to implement policies that enables everybody to realize what God has given to him. Both being the waste. And once that happens, you begin to discover that these primordial sentiments that are laced with some form of ethnocentric values will die down. And once that happens, we will now begin to have a country that we can call our own. Rather than a country of tribesmen, we have a country of uh, nationalists. So recently, about 17 gubernatorial candidates of the PDP visited Governor Wike in River State. Of course, it shows it's a the part of the reconciliation process going on in the party. So don't you think it would have really, you know, been so nice if the national chairman? Senator Hayu was part of that reconciliation, at least to make people see that things are going on well in the PDP, to present that um, progress that we're all waiting to get from the PDP before the campaign starts on the 20, 28th of September. Even in a house where the husband and the wife have very sharp disagreements, and eventually maybe your wife uh, leaves the house, sometimes it is not the husband first to talk to the wife. That is even between the husband and wife. You will see the in-laws. You will see the friends. They will go and say, please, you know, this is the way it is. Uh, your husband uh, is, uh, has uh, repented or this one has happened. That you now wet the ground. Because it's possible if the husband goes first to meet the wife, the anger may be such that it now leads to something that you, you may not uh, anticipate. Maybe at that moment, the wife will now say, why do I abuse words that will further aggravate the situation? And that is why sometimes when you have a disagreement between two persons, you look for some other parties who are um, not only interested parties, but who are close to the individuals uh, that what you may call the dramatic personnel. And at the end of the day, they begin to wet the soil, wet the ground, and then are able to find a common ground. There is nothing wrong if uh, our national chairman, uh, Ayu, was not part of those who had gone to meet our leader, yes, on week first. It's not nothing else. Even if we can also decide to go to IU and say, my chairman, and what you are doing to me. And what is most important is that at the end of the day, the party leadership have realized that there is a need to move as a coherent, as a, a cohesive body to be able to address uh, the issues uh, bedeviling our country today. And the beauty of it all is that for us in the party, we are, we are quite optimistic, in which case we are looking at the cup as half full rather than half empty. Our leader, Ayeski, has made it very, very clear in all his outings that he will deliver up in rivers. He even went to the extent of saying that he has demolished APC in rivers. What does that tell you? Very reassuring that rivers being a very, very important aspect of the PDP since 1999, will remain a very, very important uh, part of the party in 2023. What the issue is now for Of your to bulldoze positively and political in, in the political circle. That bulldozing abilities we want to be extended to other areas where we may be weak. So that if we are using a shovel or spade to try to pack the sand or the debris in some of those things, we want you to bring in your bulldozing abilities so that we don't need to begin to waste time packing the debris with just a shovel or a spade. A spade. 
but that with your bulldozing, bulldozing instruments, we will be able to bulldoze our way positively and democratically, and at the end of the day, take over those states that are at the moment not uh, within the, uh, what you may call, uh, within the uh, of the PDP. And we are quite confident, as we make progress in this direction, that the PDP winning machines will not only be rekindled, but will be well positioned to be able to free Nigerians and Nigeria from where we are at the moment. You know, the beauty of it all is that in the course of this whole thing, every Nigerian is agreed on one thing. Those who pretend not to agree are only just pretending because they know the truth. They are very much aware that the Naira in their pocket is no longer the same as it was in 2015. They are very much aware that in, as of 2015, they could possibly sleep with uh, two eyes and some with one and a half eyes, depending on which part of the country you dwell in. But today, it is a very big luxury to even sleep with one eye. You recall that as of 2015, the pockets of insecurity we had in this country was largely restricted to the northeastern part of this country. And not the entire northeast, but just about a part of Adama uh, and then mid Boronu and then Yubi. Places like Gombe, places like Taraba, places like Bauchi were not even affected even when they were in the north. But today, one of the major democratic dividends that the APC has brought in is the democratization of insecurity to the extent that six geopolitical zones are suffering. Just at this weekend, you saw what happened in Enuguku in Anambra with respect to our very, very um, uh, active um, lawmaker, uh, Ifan Oba who is of the, 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 the youth party, is not a member of the PDP, but we are recognized that as a Nigerian, he has played a very critical role in the, the, the legislature. And Atiku is called not only to govern those in the PDP, Atiku is going to, just like in his capabilities, to recognize talents wherever they are hidden. Even if it's at the end of the day, by the grace of God, he wins, that it is important for P2B and those to come and play a role for the purpose of having good governance. I can assure you, Atiku will not hesitate to go in that direction. Because what is interesting is not to play politics with the life of Nigerians. He knows that the job at hand is not to be political, but rather to be very, very strategic and deal with those issues and where we need to tactically withdraw for us to strategically advance. Thank you so much, Co uh, Honorable Commissioner. Thank, thank you, you so much me. for your time with us on the, on the program. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, so much uh, you have said, but when you look at the, the APC, they will tell you that uh, the issue of insecurity has been and is the genesis uh, of um, the, the genesis is when the PDP was in power. And so they are only trying to manage this situation. But let's not look at blame, blame game. Let's look at how the issue can be resolved. I'll say thank you so much for your time with us on the program this morning. We hope that when we call again, you will be you avail us the opportunity to to speak with you on some uh issues burning issues okay so i'm closing that, that, that's with what taking us back to patronizing our local goods our local items so we can encourage our local farmers and with that we will be strengthening our naira thank you so much for watching us on this morning on itv my name is hope brown